I definitely hit my hand twice with the 16 pound hammer, which is where I came up with this idea. All right, now that we've replaced all of the modules and pretty much the entire controllers here, they're back online and working again. But we're not gonna let these get struck by lightning without at least putting some protection in. So we've got the ladder up right now and that stick you see going out of the ground there is a ground rod. We're gonna be pounding that thing all the way down into the ground, the whole rod. We're not gonna cut it because you shouldn't cut it. We're gonna get that drill, drill down into the ground and then we're gonna use number eight bare copper wire, like you see here, to run from that ground rod to each one of these controllers. I'm actually gonna run two wires, one to this controller and then one to that controller. And then we're gonna use some clamps to clamp it down. I'll show you how all this works as soon as I get that ground rod in the ground. In case you're wondering how I'm gonna get that ground rod into the ground, Old trusty, the 16 ounce hammer. No, I don't have a sledgehammer. No, I don't have the attachment for a hammer drill, but I'll put this 16 pounds to work and we'll get that sucker in the ground. I won't lie to you. I definitely hit my hand twice with the 16 pound hammer, which is where I came up with this idea. I'm just gonna bang on it with the rod in between the steps. And when it gets below that step, then I'll just move it to the next set of steps. I'm not gonna hold that rod anymore. You live and you learn. All right, let's take a look at the finished product here. We've got one ground wire going to the ground lug on each of the two controllers here. Boom, boom. They come out of the controller box here, go underground, come about 12 feet away, a little more than 10, to this point here. Now, if you look at the top of this ground rod, you could tell that it hasn't been mushroomed over completely. And you can actually see the two little lines right there. And those little lines is what's gonna tell an inspector if you cut it or not. I didn't cut this ground rod. I definitely drove it into the ground with a 16 ounce hammer. And all that's left to do now is trim off this little bit of wire sticking up at the top and we're on to the next one. I know I've bragged about my cart before, but I mean, I don't think I've ever put a ladder in it. That thing has everything from the job. Now let's see if the ladder will stay on after I go down the curve. It's still there. 